Hello, welcome, uh, open formers and YouTubers. Uh, welcome to our discussion video on C++. Okay, so why why do you want to learn C or C++? Well, I'm trying to learn C++ anyway. I'll try that, trying to uh, learn and uh, you know um, teach as I learn C++. So I'm documenting all this down for future reference and for anyone else who's starting this and confused. All right, so um, well. Um, you know that open form is uh, written in C++. Um, all right. So let's navigate to the root directory. Uh, okay. So just pay attention to this window. In this window, I'm just uh, updating Ubuntu. Uh, some of the things. Okay. So um, yeah. Why are we interested in C++? All right. We know that there are certain solvers. For example, I go form. Okay. Uh, but they are sometimes limited in terms of functionality. All right, so IcoFoam can only solve uh, incompressible flow. But let's say you want to get uh, incompressible flow with some uh, temperature variation. Uh, we, how can we add it? So there's this uh, wiki page that helps to um, tell you how to add temperature to IcoFoam. And this is one of the more advanced aspects of OpenFoam because now we are dealing with code and with libraries and these are all C++ concepts. Now, I, I am assuming you know a little bit about programming. Uh, for example, uh, your engineering class should have taught you a little bit about MATLAB. And if you're not in engineering, why are you doing uh, you know, CFD? Uh, yeah, um, yeah. OpenFoam for that matter. Okay, but um, anyway, uh, that's my uh, that's the assumed knowledge that you should have a little bit of programming background a little bit of MATLAB okay uh, of course you should know how to use open form since this is kind of leaning more into the advanced side of open form okay so uh, this is what the if you want to add a temperature field we'll need to go into the solver and then you look at all these these are written in a C++ format it's very similar to the uh, syntax used in the input file. You notice the brackets and semicolons and uh, uh, whatever. Uh, uh, curly brackets. Wait, we don't have curly brackets here. Comma, semicolons, and uh, brackets. Okay. And of course, we have this uh, 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 other things as well. Okay. So all these are actually C codes. Okay. C, 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 or C codes. So how do we uh, find this in open form? Okay, so we want to go cd form tutor uh, form solvers. Okay, then we go to incompressible for the icoform one. Cd icoform. So folders are blue, but files are grey or white. Okay, so if we if we vi in there, we'll see what the what the solvers actually look like. We we look at the we look at the the include uh, files and these are actually libraries and all all this we'll want to discuss more in the next few videos about C plus plus and of course we want to look at what these libraries are actually talking about all right so yeah this is C plus plus for open form all right so uh so to get to the beginning we don't want to talk about this complicated stuff first. We want to talk about you know basic C++. For example, this hello world. Okay, so usually before we start C++, uh, the first thing we need to do is to have a compiler. So what's a compiler for? All right, the compiler. All right, will take. The compiler will take this code. All right, it'll take this code. For example, yeah, this this uh, hello world. This is the first thing you want to learn in. Uh, C or C++ so in this uh, in this uh, particular uh, video series you want to learn C++ because okay C++ definitely sounds more comprehensive okay so it will take some code and then you'll turn it into a binary file so what's a binary file well, if, you, if you look at the if you look at a lot of the installers on Windows in open form you'll you will you see this uh, exe file right now these exe files are usually binary we it's not easy to kind of uh, edit them and if you open them up it will kind of look messy so for example 
let's me look at some of the software I have okay so for example this uh, this is a executable Kindle for PC and then this is an application right so what we what do we want to do with this application maybe we want to open with a notepad okay hmm Okay, so the open interface isn't over here. Never mind, we're going to use Notepad. I just opened up a Notepad, and now I'm going to let, look for some executable files. For example, uh, MATLAB, the installation file of MATLAB. So this, this is one of them, and we'll open. And then we'll, we'll come up with this very unreadable format looking thingy that Notepad cannot quite interpret. Now this is what uh, binaries are about. Binaries, binary files we, we cannot read, for example using Notepad, but C++ is something we can take a look at. It looks way more readable than a binary file. So what a compiler does is to convert this readable code to us, human readable code, into a, uh, a binary file which can then be executed by the computer to do and whatever application does all right so so what we need is a compiler oops it's a very layman way very introductory way of explaining so what we need is a compiler and what is this compiler usually i think for c we use this compiler called gcc for c plus plus we use g plus plus okay where do we find these compilers? Well, fortunately for you, if you look in OpenFOAM, I mean, if you look in your Linux uh, distribution, and we type G++ and we try to find a version, we find that G++ is already been installed because you install OpenFOAM. So G++ does come with OpenFOAM. Okay, so if you actually talk about uh, trying to install it online, you'll go in one big circle and they'll tell you to do a sudo apt-get install, sudo apt-get uh, updating of uh, build essentials. I mean, that itself is useful, but since OpenFOAM already helps us to install G++ and C++ uh, GCC, okay, we don't really need to worry any about it. So, um, First thing we want to do is uh, compile compile this uh, compile a very simple C++ script. So this is the first script that we'll often use. It's called the Hello World. Okay. So uh, we we'll want to try we we'll want to try doing this. Okay. And so anyway, let's start compiling. So uh, this is uh, what uh, what this uh, program will look like. All we have to do is to start our vi editor okay so vi all right uh, maybe yeah let's we want to make a new repository okay let me make a new repository first so let's get up all right i'll quickly make a repository so that So that we can find a good place to start our open form. So I'm going to put a new repository and C++ YouTube open form. All right. So C++ stuff for open formers YouTube. Okay, and then I'll initialize with a README and create the repository. Okay, so I'm going to clone this in with git. Okay, I also assume you know how to use a bit of git. So I'm going to cd github, open form workspace, and git clone, paste it here, and dot. Oops! There you go. Okay, let me clone it into a... C++ stuff for open formers. OK, 
Okay. C open foam YouTube. I think the plus kind of messes the naming convention up a bit. And I'll use a very very uh, Ubuntu friendly name. So I'm just going to copy this in and that has uh, made a new one. So let's go into C open foam YouTube and we want to make directory uh, basic code basic code all right let's go to basic code and we'll just make our hello world so it'll be hello world.cpp for C++ and we're gonna copy and paste it's really cheap you know um, okay undo So let's insert and paste. Let's quit again. Oops, all right. Okay, so this, this first line we're gonna comment it. This we cannot comment. This is our first very important uh, stuff uh, called code using C++. And we're just going to delete, okay, delete. Okay, this is the first part, int, uh, integer, int stands for integer. And I'm going to tap this in. And I'll return zero and the close curly brackets. Okay, maybe just for neatness sake, I'm just going to do this. Uh, and then I'm going to credit this website. Oops. I'm going to credit this website for giving me the code. All right. So, um, all right. So what the, let, let's go through some basics first. Assuming you already know open form, you should know this double, double forward slash actually stands for comments. All right. So this open form is written in C or C++, so um, I can't remember exactly. Hold on, hold on. All right, yeah, open form is written in C++. So uh, yeah, we are, a lot of the languages that we, the language features that we look, we find in the open form file will be found here as well. For example, these semicolons, these curly brackets, and um, these two forward slashes to indicate comments. So this is our basic uh, C++ file. This is our first, and we're going to save and quit. And we'll have a hello world.c++. So let's do a G++ of this hello world.c++. Okay. Okay. Hello world.c++. And let's uh, wait for it to run. And so it's run finish, and then there is this thing called A out. So a out will be our file. So like any script, it will be in green color. So if you have done a, a little bit of open form, you have noticed the all run files and all clean files are also in green color. So we'll just need to run the a out like so, like any other script, and it will just print hello world, as you can see here. Um, now, if you want to change this to, let's say, give a particular output found, we can use the, uh, we can special uh, specify the output. So let's say we put an uh, output name old, O, and then we'll type in the desired output name. So hello underscore world. So it's going to compile and it's going to give us hello world. And then we can just run hello world and it will print hello world. Okay. So, um, okay. That's all for, you know, basic, uh, basically the first video. We have just uh, uh, written a little bit of C++ and that's the first uh, thing we write. And of course, uh, I'm just going to do a quick push up to git. And 
commit and uh, hello world. Added. Okay. So I'm gonna push it up a git and it's gonna basically gonna basically push it up again. So uh, thanks for watching a uh, little uh, first uh, C++ video uh, for open formers uh, to get us acquainted with the code hopefully in as short and as painless uh, process as possible. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.